friends. I have another story for you today. This one is called 10 Little Caterpillars. And it's written by Bill Martin Jr. And it's illustrated by Lois Ellert. Look at those caterpillars. What are they doing to that leaf? They're eating it up, right? And what about, I noticed something about this leaf here. What shape is it in? It's in the shape of a heart. Aw, look at those little caterpillars. So let's take a peek at this 10 little caterpillars. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. There he goes. I'm going to eat some of it. The second little caterpillar wriggled up a flower. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. Cabbage is kind of like lettuce. There he goes, he's climbing on the cabbage head. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. There's that caterpillar, he found melons. Melons are watermelons, honeydew, cantaloupe, different kinds of melons. Fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. So this is water and those leaves are floating around in the water and the caterpillar is on top of that leaf. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. Sometimes our friends might find a caterpillar at their homes or outside and they might put it in a glass jar with some leaves to come and show their friends at school what they have found. <clears throat> the seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. A wren is a bird. Uh-oh. I hope that wren doesn't eat the caterpillar. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. Look at this hen. I hope the hen doesn't eat the caterpillar. It looks like he jumped when he saw the hen. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. I know fish like worms. Wait, do fish like caterpillars? I don't know. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. He's climbing up the apple tree branch. And hung there patiently. But where did he go, friends? Do you think maybe he made a chrysalis or a cocoon? It looks like a leaf, but I'm wondering if he might be inside of there. Until by and by, the tenth little caterpillar, there he is, there's buds on the tree now, let's see, became a butterfly. There he is. There he is flying over the beautiful flowers. And that's the end of the story. However, at the back, they tell us what all those different caterpillars are. So I'm gonna come up a little bit closer so you can see. So the first one was called a morning cloak caterpillar. Um, it feeds on trees, leaves, nettles, and wild rose leaves. And it turns into this beautiful butterfly. The second one was a buckeye caterpillar. And it feeds on a variety of leaves, including, including snapdragon leaves. Look at this one, it turns into this kind of butterfly. That's beautiful. The third caterpillar was the cabbage looper. Remember he went on the cabbage head, it looks like lettuce. And it is a caterpillar and he devours leaves and likes garden crops, obviously, like cabbage. But he turns into a moth. It's a little bit different than a butterfly. The fourth caterpillar was a yellow bear. Aw, he's a yellow bear. And it says he chomps on tree leaves and leaves of garden crops. 
and he turns into a Virginian tiger moth. He's got those gray wings. Now our fifth caterpillar was a yellow-necked caterpillar, and he feeds on tree leaves, and he turns into this moth, kind of orange and red wings. <clears throat> The sixth, cat or the sixth caterpillar was a monarch caterpillar. They eat m only milkweed leaves and they turn into those big, beautiful monarch butterflies that we see sometimes. This is another one we see kind of frequently. The number seven one's called a painted lady caterpillar. Feeds on th thistle leaves and other plants such as daisies. And it turns into this butterfly. They look kind of similar, but look, this one looks much smaller than the monarch. The eighth one we saw was a woolly bear caterpillar. It eats mainly low-growing plants, grasses, and weeds, and it grows into this Isabella tiger moth. Our ninth caterpillar is a common wood nymph caterpillar. It feeds on grasses and woods, meadows, and fields, and it also it turns into a butterfly. That one's a little bit darker. And finally, the tenth one is a tiger swallowtail caterpillar, and it, eat, it eats shrubs and broadleaf tree leaves. And it turns into this beautiful butterfly with yellow and blue and red. Beautiful. And that's the end of our story. There goes that caterpillar climbing up the flowers. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed our story about our ten little caterpillars. Hope everyone's doing well. Stay healthy and safe. I love you and I miss you. Bye-bye.